Today we're going to continue with getting the Platinum Trophies on the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy by getting the Platinum Trophy on Crash 2 Cortex Strikes Back. And if you guys watched the Platinum video on the first Crash game, you know that these games are not easy. Now PSN Profiles actually has this game ranked as a 6 out of 10 difficulty, while the first Crash Bandicoot game was actually a 7 out of 10 difficulty. But I actually disagree with this one. I think these games are both equally as difficult, if not Crash 2 is actually more difficult for me. The only thing that I found really difficult on the first Crash Bandicoot was doing the DLC level. But just like the first Crash Bandicoot game, step one was to just complete the main story. Step two was to collect all of the gems and collect all of the gold relics as well. And then step three, was to clean up all of the miscellaneous trophies that I missed. But without further ado, let's hop straight into it. First thing I want to do is take you guys through all of the main story trophies. So here they are right now. All right, it's time to clap Neo, I mean, beat Neo Cortex. Yeah. Wow, that was the easiest boss fight I've ever done in my life. Carte Cortex Inadequate. This game was difficult, man. I got game over a couple times in this game, and usually I didn't get game over on the first crash once, and I got game over a good amount on this game, so we're going to do the gems first, but the time trials might be hard. We'll see, though. All right, so a super easy gold trophy that we get is we have to defeat five enemies with Coco's leg drop, which is, I think, like I said, there we go. Give him the Hulk Hogan leg drop. Now one more and we should get the trophy. And there we go. Boom shakalaka. Defeat five enemies with Coco's double leg drop. Why is that a gold trophy? The next trophy we're going for is called 99% Precipitation. And for this trophy, you have to earn 99 lives, a returning trophy from the first Crash Bandicoot. And just like the first Crash Bandicoot, this wasn't really grindy or that hard. What I did for this is this strategy right here. Basically, what I did is found one of these bees nests located in some of the levels. And basically, if you slide into the bees nest and time it correctly, you can take every bee that spawns out of the nest at once. And if you do it correctly, you get alive each time you do it. So I just sat here and did this for a little bit. It didn't take me that long. And eventually I got the trophy. Now that we got those two trophies out of the way, it is now time for the fun part, which is the gems and the relics. I didn't really do one over the other at the start. I kind of just did it all at once. After I got every gem for the level, I then went ahead and did the relic before I moved on to the next level. There's also five trophies in this game that you get for unlocking a secret exit in a certain level. I also went ahead and did those as well because you needed to unlock some of those secret exits in order to get the gem on certain levels. So the first step I decided to take was to unlock all of the colored gems in the game just like on crash one because those colored gems also unlock secret pathways that you also need to get a gem on some of the levels as well for one of the colored gems going back to the secret exits you needed to take the secret exit in air crash in order to get the red gem and of course we also got a trophy for doing that as well also, like I said before, by collecting a color gem, it unlocks a bonus path in some of the levels. And for taking a color gem bonus path, you also get a trophy. So after a little bit more grinding, I got through some of the gems and some of the relics. The beginning levels weren't really that hard, just like on the first Crash Bandicoot. It was later in the game that it really started to get difficult for me. But yeah, I got some trophies for collecting the relics and the gems. I got a trophy for collecting five relics, a trophy for collecting 10 relics, and then a trophy for collecting 21 gems. Now comes the part where the struggle happens. So there were some levels later on in this game with the time trials that were just getting on my nerves, straight up just pissing me off. I think personally that the time trials overall on this game are more difficult than Crash 1. And that's because you have to move extremely fast in this game because at the end of the game, the game gives you running boots. And if you don't run the entirety of the level that you are doing, you are not going to get the gold relic. At least on Crash 1, there was no running boots. And you can just go the normal walking speed that Crash does the whole time. And you can get the gold relic if you're just relatively fast on the level. But this one, you're moving pretty fast with the running shoes. Here's some of the levels that I struggled on. I can't, man. Oh my god. Uh... Thanks for the slide game. Appreciate that. Clearly press circle, but no, nothing. Thanks. Appreciate it. Thanks. Appreciate it again. I can't even get past the first freaking part of the level, dude. That means when I get to the end, it always happens. I can't get past the beginning. So then when I get to the end, I'm going to have no practice and I'm going to die. 
Because I don't know what's happening. Ah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Unreal that I just didn't spin that out. That's, this is definitely not. Definitely not golding right there. There's no freaking way. How is that gold? I was one second off the platinum either, even on that. How? I can't, man. Like... That was super easy with the mask. That's platinum for sure. Gold? Oh, I thought it was a minute. Damn, I was one. It seems like I'm always one second off the platinum on all of these. Literally one second. You gotta be joking me. You got. I don't think that's gonna be gold. It platinumed? How did that platinum? All right, we should get a trophy here for taking the secret exit in this level. And there we go. The flora flopped and unlocked the secret exit in digging it. Okay, yeah. Restart, restart. No, that was stupid. Hate. Not smart, it was not smart, but go. <sighs> I need to cut seven, dude. How do I do it then? Thanks, game. Appreciate that. I can't, I can't. You can't be. I'm <laughs> what? Oh, please be it. Thank God. Oh. I'm gonna. Uh. Oh, this is really getting on my nerves. Oh, my God. I don't know what I'm gonna do, man. I'm jumping. Why did that happen, dudes? Like. <laughs> oh man dude it's just it's just getting old at this point man that's not there's no shot that's gold all right whatever i'll take it <laughs> and now it's time for the most difficult level in this entire game the level that almost broke me the level that almost made me go insane and it wasn't the level itself that was actually difficult it was actually one singular enemy in this entire level this thing right here this little crab thing whatever you call it i don't even know what it is but it is the bane of my existence and I never want to play this game again because of this enemy. And get this, the first time I finished this level, I got a sapphire. So not only did I complete a full speed run of this level, but then I had to do it all again. I wasn't recording my voice when I did this level, but uh, if I did, you guys would have heard my pain. This right here was another secret exit I needed to take in order to get a gem on a level. And of course, I got another trophy for it. So this level right here was the last level in the main game that I needed for both the gems and the relic. But I wasn't done there. There are two bonus levels that are accessed through secret exits. The final two secret exits we need for the two trophies. And we also needed to get the relic and the gems for those levels as well. All right, so right here, there is a secret entrance on this level right next to that bear. If we just go up to here, 
go through the secret entrance we should get a trophy there it is no bear left behind unlock the secret exit in unbearable all right we're on our last secret entrance this should be another trophy once we step into it and there we go hang in there maybe unlock the secret exit and hanging out and this is now our final mission or level in the entire game we have to get the gem and the relic and we got both of the trophies for that and just 100 percent the game as well Please be it. Please be done. Please be done. Wampa burner engaged. Oh my god. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Finally done with those relics, dude. Oh my god. Those are so infuriating. You guys have no idea. Finally. Thank god the last level was a e pretty easy level, too. All right. Now the gems, and that's 100% on Crash 2. And now we just need a couple more trophies. All right. That is it. Here's our last gem. All right, give me that trophy. Come on, please. Laser powered vengeance. Crash 2 is done. Well, not the platinum, but the game is, is done. All right, so for our next trophy, I think we have to keep jumping on this bear until he gives us a life. Come on, buddy. There we go. How helping, Paul. Don't feel guilty about jumping on him. There we go. Oh my God, he gives you mad lives. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you, Bear. I appreciate that, bro. All right, so I actually had to start a new game for this. So this trophy, you have to go into a level and forget to the power, the purple crystal gem or whatever. You have to forget that three times. And apparently you get a trophy for doing that. So yeah, I just got to play this level three times without collecting the gem, I guess. Oh, he's getting pissed. He's getting pissed off. All right, here we go. Last time. Platinum should finally be mine. Come on, let me see it, baby. Let me see it, baby. Cortex infuriated and the incredible Crash Bandicoot. Oh my god, man. That, I don't know, man. I think Crash 2 might be harder than the first one. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, that was super tough. If you guys would like to see some more Platinum playthroughs, here's a playlist of it right here.